Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, from Vermont, the Shed Brewery of Middlebury, Vermont, and this is the Mountain IPA with an alcohol by volume of 6.8% ABV. This is a fairly new brew for this brewery. Uh, it uh, just came out in January of 2017. Uh, the exact date on this is actually on the bottle. I think it said January 13th of 2017, which, when I'm reviewing this, is a little over a month old. But um, anyway, I did have one the other day. It came out of a mixed 12-pack, and it was still pretty decent. Uh, Shed Brewery uh, is actually, a lot of their beers are brewed at Otter Creek in Middlebury, Vermont. The ones you find in the bottles, mainly, are brewed there. The brewery itself is actually a brew pub, or more of a brew, brewery and a restaurant. And it's been around for a long time, more than 15 years for certain. They were doing double IPAs back in 2007, which I'm sure there were other breweries around the country that were doing them then. But... They weren't as prominent back, oh, back 10 years ago as they are now. So I'm going to get right into this beer. Uh, the Shed has their standard cap, as you can see. They recently changed the labeling on these, on these beers. So anyway, let's go right into it. Give it a pour. Oh, a lot of aroma right off the nose right then and there. That's got a lot of aroma for certain. Now, take a look at this beer. You can see that it's definitely got a, a hazy, cloudy, foggy, murky looking, uh, pale yellow pour, almost like an olive yellow pour. A lot of busy carbonation going up to this modest little white foamy head. The aroma on this. I'm getting a good dose of citrus hops. I'm getting some hop resin on this. Getting kind of a dankness. And underneath all that is this toasted pale malt character. But the hops are what are taking things over. On the nose anyway. Let's go on to the taste. Mm. Ooh, that has some bitterness. Definitely a citrusy, fruity type bitterness. A resiny type bitterness. And the body's in the uh, medium to smooth, medium and smooth range. Beneath it all, there's a kind of a toasted bread, sourdough, white bread, a maltiness, a mild sweetness. But it's the bitterness that really takes over with this whole citrus character that's kind of leading the way along with a resiny character. And maybe even a bit of a fruity character, but more toward the citrus side, like a zing, like a citrus zing. Not orange, not lemon, but a zingy, a zingy sort of citrusy character. The IBUs are the International Bittering Units. I keep forgetting to say that. International Bittering Units on this. 60 IBU, it says right on the label. So it gives you the alcohol by volume. It gives you the International Bittering Units. And it also stamps the date in kind of fade, faded uh, ink on the bottle itself. But it's there. So anyway, it gives you all that information you're really looking for when you're Opening, particularly an IPA, if you want to drink it really fresh, which is what you want to do these days. Which is kind of ironic that everyone wants to drink their IPAs as fresh as they can possibly be, so they can get all those hop characters. When the whole idea behind the IPA, way, way, way back hundreds of years ago, was just like a preservative. The hops were like a preservative. So it would make it around the world for ships that were hauling the beer to the troops all over the world. Anyway, so nowadays, though, if you wait too long on the IPA, you get this malt bomb, and people just don't like that. It makes me wonder if uh, several hundred years ago, uh, when India Pale Ales were first being brewed and they used all those hops, whether the people who received the beer on the other end, across halfway around the world, enjoyed it because it still tasted malty like <laughs> a good old traditional type ale would have in those days. Hmm. Anyway, it's a decent beer. The Shed Brewery, you can find them pretty much around New England, and I'm not sure if they're getting outside of New England too much more, but they are put, they are tied into Otter Creek, at least in the bottling category. So, um, so um, that brewery has some wider distribution around uh, parts of the eastern seaboard, 
But I'd say you can find this in a lot of different areas around New England. So that'll do it for now. This is the Shed Mountain IPA. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.